hunting big cats. Wanna join me? Hey everybody, it's Dan Hodges, naturalist for the Johnny Appleseed Park District, and I'm out here hunting cats. Maybe not so big. I'm out here hunting caterpillars. So caterpillars are the larval form of lepidopterans. Those are butterflies and moths. And mo most caterpillars are active at night because, well, birds don't eat them at night. I wanted to see if we could find some. Let's take a look. I've got a couple of tools with me. A flashlight, of course. Oh, check out these little bugs. Little plant hoppers. Not only do I have a sort of a normal flashlight, I also have uh, this UV flashlight here. So if I turn my flashlight off, you'll be able to see what this UV flashlight does for me. I can pick up a lot of really interesting things that I wouldn't necessarily see otherwise. Looks like some spider web back there and a vine. Some caterpillars fluoresce, which is really exciting. As with probably any type of hunting, I guess. It's more patience than it is skill. Oh, check this out. Up here, and I don't even need the black light flashlight for this. Look at this uh, chewed off leaf here. A lot of times when you're looking for caterpillars, what you're going to find first is the sign of caterpillars, right? Where they've been. So here's here's a chewed off leaf here too, and then all the way down, all these leaves are chewed off, and I can see the culprit up here. Let's take a look, there they are. See his little orange head? There's several of them here. These aren't actually even caterpillars. They are sawflies, but they function basically like caterpillars, they're just uh, not in the order Lepidoptera. It's funny because not only do birds live on these little guys, but they raise their babies on them almost exclusively. That's what birds are doing, hunting caterpillars to feed their babies. And I can't find any of them. Oh, here's something. Yeah, you can see a little bit of it. Can you see that? Kind of showing up glowing. There you go. Look at that. So here we have an elm leaf. Can you see him there? <laughs> Look at that. So he's got he's built himself a little silken nest here and he's not quite folded the leaf, uh, but he's puckered it a little bit there and spun silk around to give him protection from, well, probably things like me. There he is, eating off the end of this leaf. All right, we're gonna leave him here. <laughs> Look at this guy. Just a nice little daddy long leg hanging out. It's fun, because caterpillar hunting often becomes, well, just about everything. All sorts of bugs. Here's something. Can you see him? Let's check this out. Oh, what a cutie. I don't know what he is, but I love him. See how it seems like there's a bulge behind his head. So the head's there curled on the left part of this U shape. But see how there's a big bulge behind it? That's because this caterpillar is about to shed its skin. So the new head is just sort of pushed off of the old head capsule and he's about to burst out of that old skin and come crawling out and he'll have all this wrinkly sagging skin underneath that he'll fill up as he begins to eat more of this basswood. Cricket here, look at him. Carolina leaf roller, maybe? So let's look at this guy. It's another one of those little roly polies. There it is. Can you see him glowing there? There we go. 
Ooh, 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 check this out. Can you see him? I see something. Oh, he's big. There we go. Caterpillar hunting at its finest. That's a big cat right there. He looks like he's on... He's in the grape that's growing in this red bud here. Check this out. Yes. Can we see him? Oh, there he is. He's right there. Check that out. There he is. <laughs> Come on, buddy. There he is. It's a hog sphinx. Look at him bury his little head in this neck folds. I'll set him up and we'll get a nice picture of this guy. This will be our catch of the night for sure. So if you look at the front part of his body, you'll see that he's got all six of his legs kind of pursed together under his tiny little head there. <laughs> That's pretty typical of a hog sphinx. Um, those legs are segmented. Um, they're hard. Those are true um, insect legs. He's got a head a pretty poorly defined uh, thorax and abdomen. Uh, but something you might notice is he's got, well, extra legs. Caterpillars have several um, of these pro legs. Um, they're not really legs. They're more of these fleshy appendages with little kind of Velcro sort of sticky pads on the bottom. Uh, they're not jointed. They're not hard. Uh, so caterpillars, um, well, I mean, you can you can almost tell by looking at them. They're basically just nice fleshy tubes of goo, uh, nutrition packed like a walking hot dog. And that's what he is to most animals. Everything wants to eat a caterpillar. Uh, they're incredibly efficient at turning plant energy into meat energy. Almost all the birds that you know, they're going to feed their babies caterpillars. That's why there's so many of them. Not a lot of caterpillars survive to adulthood because uh, they get eaten. But not just by birds, but a lot of sort of parasitoid wasps and flies will kill off these guys too. It's a tough life to be a caterpillar, uh, but for one so beautiful, I definitely hope he survives. So caterpillar hunting is a lot of fun. You don't have to do it at night. You can do it during the day. Uh, just find some leaves that have a little damage on them. And look underneath them, prod around. Some of those caterpillars are going to be hiding, sometimes even down in the leaf litter. Uh, and they'll be very difficult to find. But other ones, sometimes the more brightly colored ones, are going to be feeding basically right out there in the open because they believe that aposomatic, that brightly colored uh, pattern on their bodies is going to keep other animals from eating them. Uh, usually that's because they don't taste very good. I'm not a very good caterpillar hunter myself, uh, but I know some really good ones. One of them runs the caterpillar lab. That's all he does is caterpillars. And his best advice for getting out and finding caterpillars, honestly, it's just to get out. These animals are really cool and they're right out where you live. If, if there's native plants around your house, there's going to be caterpillars. And you can find them they're really really cool some of them are are quite frankly amazing and all you have to do to enjoy them is get outside